you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. That was Dr. Amaral. Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. We'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay. For those of you just now. tuning in, the manhunt the continues pole. as authorities search for Jack Joyce, the suspect in last night's university terror attack. Joyce may also have been involved in a firefight at the Monarch Mansion on Gull Island approximately 30 minutes ago. On the line, we have Ken Bukowski, a bridge operator for the Port Donnelly Bridge. Ken, what can you tell us about the situation out there? Hey, I just want to give a shout out to my little guy. Hey, Ben, hope you're listening. <laughs> Isn't it past his bedtime? He'll be up reading those Hunger Games books if I know him. But, uh, yeah. I'm just out here in the control booth overlooking the bridge. Monarch's got a roadblock set up, checking all the cars as they go through. It's all very well organized. I got a nice young fellow from Monarch up here, Darren, doing some kind of lookout from above. He's not a coffee drinker, so there must be something wrong with him. <laughs> no, but we're in good hands. Uh, even though it's not cops at the roadblock, Yes, Ken, Monarch is working to assist the police in the hunt for Jack Joyce. I know some people have asked, does Monarch have the authority to do this? Well, my question is, if not Monarch, then who? I think we need to recognize that we are currently in a state of crisis. Why isn't Joyce behind bars? If the police are overwhelmed, then I say we take all the help we can get. Monarch is the only thing keeping this city safe. Am I right, Ken? I guess that makes sense. You bet it does. I suggest we stop asking why they're helping us and start helping them. But that's just me. We're opening the lines for your thoughts, Riverport, right after this. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, sir. We're helping the police looking for a terrorist. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? Is that the guy who blew up the library? Um, James Joyce? Jack Joyce, yeah. You see anything else in the Well, I mean... 
leaving the sports car park in the streets back there. It's kind of wrecked. Damn it. Better hurry. Security personnel, if you have anything to report. Somebody's sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. I should get up on that bridge and make my way across it before the stutter ends. The scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. Man, I'm not the one you should be scared of, guy. Just be patient.
Okay, good. Just gotta make it across this damn bridge and I'll be clear. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off-sync crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Come on, come on,
pressure was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. <laughs>